Quick Strategies to Lower Hematocrit Levels Hello, viewers. Today, we're going to dive into a topic that might be particularly interesting for those with a high hematocrit level or those who are just curious about human health. We're going to discuss the quickest ways to lower hematocrit levels. Hematocrit is a measure of the proportion of blood volume that is occupied by red blood cells, and it's crucial for our body's functionality. But like anything else, too much of it can cause problems. So, let's get started. What does high hematocrit mean? A high hematocrit level can indicate that your blood is thicker than normal, which can increase your risk of blood clots and conditions like heart disease. It might be caused by living at high altitudes, smoking, dehydration, or certain diseases. In some cases, it might be the result of polysemia vera, a rare blood disorder. How can I lower my hematocrit levels quickly? If you're looking to lower your hematocrit levels quickly, here are some strategies you can consider. 1. Hydrate yourself. Dehydration can cause your body to produce more red blood cells, which can increase your hematocrit levels. Make sure you're drinking enough water every day to stay well hydrated. 2. Blood donation. Donating blood can help lower your hematocrit levels as it reduces the volume of red blood cells in your body. However, frequent blood donation can have its own risks, so this should be done under medical supervision. 3. Address the underlying cause. If an underlying condition like sleep apnea, kidney disease, or a heart condition is causing high hematocrit, treating that condition can help lower your hematocrit levels. 4. Healthy diet and exercise. Regular physical activity and a balanced diet can help maintain your overall health and, in turn, help manage your hematocrit levels. 5. Medication. In some cases, medication may be necessary. For instance, in the case of polysemia vera, your doctor might prescribe drugs to reduce the number of red blood cells your body makes. Always consult with a healthcare provider before undertaking any of these strategies, especially when considering medication or blood donation. So there you have it, several quick ways to lower hematocrit levels. Remember, these are general recommendations and may not work for everyone. Always consult with your healthcare provider to find the best approach for you. Hopefully, this video has been informative and helpful. Stay healthy, everyone!